What is good, Marvel Squad? And welcome back to our channel. We are going to be doing a super fun video today. Engaged edition. We can say that now. We can do some engaged style Isn't videos. Isn't that crazy? And I've never heard of this video up until yesterday. Mariah actually brought it to my attention. Yes. Agree or disagree? Yes, we're gonna see if we have the same opinion on things and if we agree or disagree on the same exact things. Or so. if we have the same 50-50. Wait, yes. when do I put up 50-50? That's if like, you're like in between a, like an answer. Uh, like you, you have like a uh, reason for yeah. both. So it's like, does Mariah look good today? 50-50. No! <laughs> you put agree. You put agree. Technically, agree is in disagree, so. So, the reason I did these note cards was because I wanted it to be, like, legit. Like, I, if I said agree and then Bill just went along with it, like, I want to, like, actually get our answer and then show it at the same time. You so cannot can switch see. it. After you yeah. pick a card, you can't, you can't switch, switch it. it. So, in my head, I'm not going to be like, oh, I disagree. And then I'd be like, oh, no, I agree, yeah. But you might make a good point that makes me go on your side if we don't, if I don't agree. So, we're allowed to switch up. Yeah. If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up. We appreciate all of your support. We hope you enjoy the video. And make sure you guys are following us on Instagram because I asked you guys on Instagram to ask us questions for this video as to why I want you guys to follow us because then you guys can get involved. You guys asked some very yes. juicy, good questions that are like super fun. We're so. always incorporating our YouTube videos with our Instagram stories, so you don't yes. want to miss those. And if you want to be involved into our videos, which we want you guys to, make sure to just be commenting down below, showing some love, and following us on Instagram so anytime we ask you questions, you can actually tune in and be the deciding factor. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to start off juicy because I feel like this is a good one to start off with. Alright. If your partner is talking to another person that's the opposite sex, then it's cheating. Oh. I'm going to do this, ready? Alright. Disagree. 50-50. Ooh, wait, what? Okay, you, so you don't think that's cheating? No, not at all. Okay, this is how I view it. I'm 50-50 because <laughs> it, start depends, fighting here. it depends on the girl in the relationship. Like if you were texting Julia or Anna, I don't find that cheating because I know it's not going anywhere. But if you're talking to another girl like texting and like having conversations, I feel like that's almost cheating because you're giving, it, it might not be physical, it's still the attention okay. you're giving to the I'm other. I'm changing my answer. Yes. 50-50 for me because I said disagree at first because I was thinking of like going out in public and talking to like you know a girl and I'm a guy no this is and, like texting okay so if you're like texting oh, well, or just talking, I guess any talking though the thing is it depends on the conversation yeah I think you should be able to talk to whoever you want whenever you want yes but depending on what you talk about and how the conversation plays out like, and how like, often if it's like the girl like hey oh yeah. my god like, that I'm entertaining and yeah, I'm, like, I'm like oh no you're so friendly yeah. like don't even I got a fiance obviously but like trust me like you're 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 awesome like yeah. that's no, don't do that. And I had some people in my life who were my friends and they were talking to you and they would get a little too flirty with you. Okay, but you weren't entertaining like... it, but I, I just I just know girls. So yeah. I feel like I agree on that, but I'm also like I said on the other end because it's half and half. Trust me, I went out to a bar like three weeks ago. True story. And this girl, she was like rubbing up her words, let's just say. So like, you know. I wasn't there, rubbing. guys. I was home. Mariah went, she left the bar. It was me and some other guys. And she just like was going around to all the guys. And like it came to a point where she was up to me and I told her, you know, I had a fiance and stuff. Cause she was like, so are we gonna dance or what? And I'm like, I have a fiance, like no. And then she left obviously. But like that, if I entertained it. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Do you feel like you rushed into getting engaged? That's a good one. That's a lot a of people one. are asking this. I already know my answer. I already know that too. Ready? Ready? Disagree. disagree. <laughs> All right. Why do you? First? I disagree because I feel like we've experienced everything about each other. We moved in together. I know it's untraditional moving with someone before you get married, but we did it. And I feel like we've been together for almost six years. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was meant to be like I was ready for that next step like I knew he was gonna be my partner for life right. I, I felt it I could feel it we went through everything together all the highs and lows and like we came out even stronger so I knew you would be the person for me so I, no, don't, I think I that's agree. awesome because I totally my views are the exact same I don't think it's wrong to move in with someone if you're not married we, we wanted to move in with each other we were here obviously we felt like we've been married for years we've we been dating a house together we yeah. got an apartment together our anniversary is this month oh yeah oh my gosh oh wait my gosh. our six year anniversary is this month Hold so that's on. just like another I think thing six or oh, six years literally in two weeks from it's now. on the 22nd it's yeah. on the 22nd of march two so weeks literally two today. weeks from today we are literally going to be having our six year anniversary so oh like that just shows like i i feel like not only was i like 
didn't rush it, I feel like I could have done it way earlier. Yeah. And so I, I feel like if, if anything, I waited. I was getting to the point where I'm like, when is he going to do this? Like, he knows how badly, like, we're ready. We said after we moved into our house and we settled down, like, yeah. we'd be ready for that next step. And obviously, I let him do it on his time. I didn't force him. I didn't rush him. I wanted him to do it when you were ready. And so, I'm glad I did it that way. Answer all your questions. I disagree. I think I waited, honestly, rather than, like, rushed it. Yeah. Because if I rushed it, I would have done it three years ago. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a controversial one. Let's get juicy. Come on. You might not think this one's juicy, but I think it's juicy. Cats are better than dogs. Ooh. Oh do you see how controversial that one is? See, this is hard because we own two cats, but I already know my answer. Listen. I already know my okay, answer. Okay, I'm just going to say my answer, and then I'll... I'll, I'll I have it right here. I have it right it's here, It's the too. only one not backwards. 50-50. You're 50-50? You think cats are better than dogs? Okay, it's hard. I guess no. I would say I'm 50-50 See, because... the thing is, they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. Strengths of cats is they're very independent. Yep. They can basically live on their own. They don't eat all their food at once. The reason I like cats better than dogs, our cats act like freaking dogs, okay? Yeah, yeah. We say something to our cats and they know exactly what we're talking about. Like, it's crazy. To prove it. I don't even know where Snap is. Snap! Snap outside? Outside? Snappy, you wanna go outside? Snap! Outside. Oh, he's at, he's at the door! Oh! He's just what? what? How did we not where did see him? From? Where did he come from? Where'd you come oh, from? Oh, he was sitting Look at him. there! He's literally right there. Now, oh, another thing to prove that our that's cat really is like mean. a dog. Ready? Snappy! Floss? <gasps> Floss. <gasps> but that's just a little example. Like, I feel like I'm a cat person because as of right now, only because we travel a lot, we're very busy, we don't really have time to like walk our dog or let the dog out or we're just not home enough to give a dog attention. I feel like a dog is kind of like a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And I said 50-50 because like, I don't think either or are better than one another. I feel like they both have their strengths and they both have their weaknesses. It just depends on like what you also grew up with. Yeah. What you love. Like Mariah honestly grew up with dogs. I did. I'm I a dog lover. I'm an animal lover. Yeah. I'm an animal lover. But as of right now, in my life, my time of life, I'm a cat person. But that just shows you can also teach cats certain words. So far, our cat knows like six words that when we say them, including his name, he knows exactly where to go, what to do. And if I said like outside, he goes straight to that door. Yeah, and I feel Even bad. if I'm not standing by the door, I could yeah. be in the bathroom. And if I say outside, he will literally go. <laughs> He's literally over there by the door right now. Men should have periods. Oh my gosh. I, have I already periods. know your damn answer. Agree. Disagree. What? I Say agree. Okay, I wouldn't say I would want you to go through it, but I'd rather you go through periods in me because I feel like you guys are more strong-willed. You can handle things be sometimes better than women can with their stomachs, okay? I only say that because I would only want you to experience it once you know my feelings. Alright, for the girls out there that want guys to go through periods or whatever. Yeah, okay, I wish I could maybe go through it once to see how it is, but the thing is, I feel like girls go through stuff and guys go through stuff. Whether whatever the stuff that is, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that comes along with being a guy that like girls don't like experience. That is true. And I'm not saying it's like you know, hard to be a guy because it's not. But it's also like there's a lot of stuff that girls do that guys are never gonna. So it's like I don't know. We, it both we both has have flaws. we both have things that you're never gonna have to worry about. Yeah. Never gonna have to like you know deal with. But same with girls. Like, I know girls do a lot. So like period wise, yeah. Of course, I wish I could take the pain away from your period cramps. But hell no, I don't want that every month. That's so much work. Oh my gosh. Like, shout out to all your ladies, because like, I don't know how you do it. It takes a lot out of it you. It does take a lot out of you. And now that I have a UTI, um, it's been taking a lot out of me with my freaking medicine and my stomach yeah. being nauseous. So. Yeah, that's news too. Woo! Agree or disagree with the thoughts of having kids during y'all's honeymoon? Ooh, okay. honeymoon kids, honeymoon children. Okay, so I'm gonna put my answer up. I have my answer. I really, okay, I have my answer too. Okay, 50-50. Hey! Okay. I'm gonna be real with you guys because you guys are a family and you know, it's just how it is. I already know We have not start. waited till marriage and that's just how we've grown up. But listen, there's some yeah, people who yeah. wait until marriage, people don't. But with us, we use all the protection we can. And I know all people are like, you use protection, oh my God. And I'm like, because I'm not ready to have a kid yet. Now, 
I did say after a wedding, I want to cut all the protection off and not <laughs> oh, yeah. use it anymore. I said on our honeymoon, I want to like not use protection anymore and if it happens, it happens. But I'm not going to like rush it. I don't know how we're going to feel in a year because I so, know we're already having baby fever. 50-50 for me because I don't mind if we do have kids and I don't mind if we don't. Like obviously, like I really feel like I'm not ready to be a dad right now be just because like I'm so experienced. No, but it's not even that. I feel like I just like, I haven't like been through the wedding stuff yet and experienced all of that. So if it happens, it happens, but like- I'm not fully ready. We're not rushing anything and we're not, you know, gonna be sad if anything does happen. We're just yeah. open-minded, you know, and we, we really don't mind. Obviously we're gonna be together forever, yeah. so. We're Whatever taking all happens. the precautions now so we don't get pregnant anytime soon. I mean, anything's possible. Do you agree with milk before cereal? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, that's not even a question, okay? Okay, no. I'm just gonna say, disagree. disagree. If yes. you put your milk in before your cereal, Ew. first what of all, you when you put your cereal in, the milk's gonna splash everywhere. Yeah. Second of all, you don't know how much milk you're gonna use or need because when you put your cereal in first, you kind of fill your milk up until you start seeing it seep Yeah, through. and it's not too much. And then much. you're like, all right, I'll stop. Yeah. And at the same time, when you pour it into the cereal, the milk doesn't splash. It kind of uses it as a sponge and keeps all the milk from going out the bowl. I've seen so many times people pour milk in the bowl and it goes whoop, because Ew. it's like, you know, like, yeah, no. I'm not hating on people if you put milk in, but like, you <laughs> don't do that. I'm sorry, but like, that's just, I feel like it was not made to be like that. No, I agree. But if you want to be different, be different. I'm not going to judge. You know, judge Things are free, being non traditional so. nowadays, so it's okay. All right, this question was from Matilda Pineapple belongs on pizza. This is a huge one. Yeah, it is. A huge Does one. pineapple belong? Do you agree pineapple belongs on pizza? Agreed. You like you like I pineapple, love pineapple right? on my pizza. If you haven't tried it, don't be a hater until you try it. It's okay? good. It's actually good. It's I good. don't think pineapple deserves to not be on pizza. It tastes good. It's warm. Yeah. Oh. I don't so hate it. Oh, good. I Neither love should it. you. Nope. You feel pressure to have a lit wedding because of YouTube, like an insane, like crazy mm. wedding. Okay. okay, I actually have an answer. Okay. Ready? Disagree. Disagree, 100%. I will say this, because I feel like, not that I don't care what you guys think, because I do, but no matter what, I am listening to what me and Bill want in our wedding, and I know you guys will love whatever we choose to do. I'm doing it for me and Bill and what our visions and our dreams are for. That's why I don't feel pressure, because I'm gonna love my wedding no matter what. That's my wedding, our wedding, mm -hmm. that's special to us, now, not to anyone else. Me, I said disagree, because yeah, I've seen a lot of YouTubers that do crazy, crazy things with their weddings, you know, and they're beautiful and they're awesome. Nothing with it. You know, our wedding is going to be crazy and awesome as well. But ask me before we were wedding planning, I might have said I would be in a little like, you know, had that in the back of my head like, oh, we have to make this super dope. But ever since I've been wedding planning, I haven't even thought about it until now, until you asked this question. I've really not factored in to be competitive with any other wedding that I've seen mm -hmm. or to think that I need to do anything more or less because of people having like insane weddings. The only thing though that I did think about when it comes to, you know, filming is the videographer. Oh yeah. And we're, you know, spending pretty good amount on a videographer the because videographer like, is all we want the best quality. video and quality possible sound, everything, it's emotion. I want to show you guys like you're literally sitting there in the seat watching it all go down. You think our proposal video is good. If you haven't seen our proposal video, make sure to go and watch our proposal video after this. You think that video is good. Our wedding video, I just think by be 10 times better. planning out the videography so far, it's gonna be dream. Oh, it's gonna be so dream. Oh my gosh. But yeah. That's the only thing that I've actually I, like thought of. I agree with you. Like, I don't feel like just cause someone else wants to go big doesn't mean you have to feel like you have to too. Like, Matter of fact, I haven't even looked at any other weddings to get inspiration. No, I've just been planning stuff. Maybe I will. Us. Maybe I should just to see if like, oh, we should have had that we at ours. Had that ours. Yeah. Either way, our wedding is gonna be super dope. And you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be literally so much like, a thing to last a lifetime. Already the stuff that we have planned, I'm so excited for. It's crazy. It's, it's coming awesome. together too, little by little. And we're gonna be sharing more here and there. Yeah. Is Mariah the one that causes the arguments 90% of the time? Someone asked it. I didn't ask it, okay? I didn't ask. <laughs> Do you know what you're gonna say? Disagree. What'd you say? Oh, I'm, no, 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 I meant, I meant. Did you? I meant 50-50. Uh, okay. 50-50. Listen. Calm 50, 50. down. Okay, I want you to answer this first. I want you to answer this first. Uh, okay. Go ahead. All right, let's hear, so. Let's hear what you have to I say. really didn't mean to put up a grade. So the only reason why I say 50-50. Keep going. Is because me as a person. Okay. I am like 
not to toot my own horn. I feel like I'm the most non-problematic oh, person my. that yes. I know. Yes, you are okay, non-problematic. Here's the thing, here's okay. the thing. So being a non-problematic person, and I'm not saying that I don't cause problems, because I do, so don't think that I'm trying to like, no, we, I, we need it. be manipulative right now, because like, I know, I, I, my I, goal is to not argue. I hate arguing, and that's just, just something in my subconscious that like, if people go to argue, my immediate reaction is not to argue back, it's just to like, talk it through or something. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, when some situation does occur, whether it's me or her, I feel like the one, the other 50%, the one propelling the situation 90% of the time could be my other half, 50-50. But I'm not saying that you're, like, okay. you're really arguing. I agree. I agree with what he's saying only because I do think he's the one that tries to put the fire out. I'm the one that will fight because I'm a fighter. That's how I grew up. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. Sometimes a fire extinguisher can malfunction. Oh, yeah. But sometimes when you are too calm, it fuels my fire a little bit and it makes me more mad. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes there's situations where I want you to be louder and I want you to like be like, no, that's not okay. But you are more quiet and it makes me mad. So then it makes me get more mad and then it Yeah, causes a our relationship argument. definitely like I feel like you I love you to death. But I feel like you definitely are a more aggressive person. Yes. Not when it comes to just arguing, just when it comes to like how you do things, how you think. I have the biggest um, heart ever. If you know me, yeah. deep down know me, I have probably one of the biggest hearts I know. And yeah, like, you're aggressive in a if, lovey way, you're aggressive If in. I have to be aggressive with someone that's like, I know like someone's messed up, then I I like to say how it is. Yeah. I'm not the type of person that keeps that in. Nah, I say how it is, definitely doesn't I tell them. Things. No, I don't sure could think. That's why I'm the more like, okay, this is what the hell's up, and he's the one that's like, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I think I explained that pretty well. You did, you did. I don't think you're, Bad person. I don't think you argue all the time either. I just think you know. You gotta have a half medium. You can't have two people who argue all the time. Hey, that's why I said 50-50. Yeah, I guess you're right. I would I would change my answer 50-50 because sometimes it's you, sometimes it's me. Well, technically it was 50-50 to you having 90% <laughs> of the time. Anyways. Do you agree on an open relationship? Like oh my god. Having a three some. Oh my god. You go and hook up with someone. I'm going to go hook up with someone. This is gonna hurt some people's feelings, isn't it? I disagree. Disagree a million percent. Because the thing is, if you're going to have an open relationship, you might as well not have a relationship. relationship. You might as well just be a bird that can fly wherever it wants, but it's not tied down to one nest. I just feel like every open relationship that I have come in contact with or seen, something always happens where the person gets jealous. I mean, in some situations, okay, I support it. I'm like, whatever. If that makes you happy, that makes you happy. But I've just seen a lot of situations where people will, you know, have a threesome and then that person will end up liking having sex with that person more than the other person. Does that make sense? You've seen a lot of situations? No, I've just heard a lot of situations. No, trust me, trust me. Just thinking about it, it just seems so super complex. I don't want to see you kissing some people, other girl. People, no. like, think about it. People's feelings are gonna start getting hurt. Yeah. You're gonna be always on edge. You're gonna be wondering how they're thinking about you. Are they doing the same thing behind your back? Yeah. Because like having an open relationship, I feel like a lot of it, it's easy to lie and it's easy to get stuck in a situation where you become not faithful to that person. Like, yeah, I don't know. I more guess... of the story for me, okay? And it's not hating on anyone. No, this if is not. If you have an open relationship, That's I great. feel like it's kind of like you don't have a relationship at all. Yeah. It's more so just, you just like hanging out with people. I just would not want to see and you kissing and hugging yeah. and doing Heck any of that no. with someone else. Like I would literally cringe and yeah. We don't Africa. know the other side of it. We don't know the people that are in open relationships. Yeah, I don't know their feelings. Because you know, like, you totally know, different. we are like, you know, we're like focused on one person and one person only. But like, I don't know, I just feel like having an open relationship, that's just like kind of to me an excuse saying like, you just don't want to be in a relationship because mm -hmm. you want to have freedom. Yeah. Which don't be in a relationship then. I don't yeah. know, that's just, that's just my thing. I get, no, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Just know guys, we're not judging anyone who does. 100%. We love every single person. Literally, you do what you want. Don't let anyone tell you no. This because, is our like, opinion. It's this is our life. Yeah. That's why like we just think how we think. That's why we're getting married. We're, yeah, exactly. We're, we're be, about to be they husband and wife, it. and I can't wait for that. That's crazy. Eleven months. Eleven months, guys. We're literally counting down. <laughs> Post, it was 13 months now it's 11 months like oh it's gonna come so fast if you have not subscribed to our channel yet make sure to subscribe because I want all of you to be updated and stay tuned for all of the amazing content and if you guys want to see a part two of this video
video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below because we will love to do another one of these in like the next couple weeks because I feel like this is really fun. I feel like we didn't get to answer all the questions because and like you can only answer so much. In our next video, make sure to be following us on Instagram because we are going to be using your questions to create the controversy, the, the agree, the disagrees, the 50-50s in our next video. Yes. And we want you to be part of it. So make sure to do that. We appreciate you guys watching this video and, and we will we'll see, see you in the next one. But until then, peace, peace. love, love you guys. guys.